For how long do I know Kathleen? I, don't, I feel like I just know her for forever. I think she's probably one of the most amazing people you can meet like and she's just so caring and just always looking out for everyone else. Mum would be very hardworking, loyal and very genuine. What you see is what you get with Kathleen. And what position does she hold? And I don't think there is a name for it. It's just that, you know, somebody who's just so mindful of so many people, particularly at times when people are struggling. And that's just invaluable in life. Spends a lot of time outside the hours people would see. You know, she, she spends a lot of time at home ringing people and organizing. She's like the mother of, of 30 to 35 girls. Even girls' birthdays, she'd know girls' birthdays and she'd bring cakes to training. So aside from like knowing that about 30 different girls on the team, and uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to remember your own family's four and five birthdays and yet she's juggling all of ours. And then we're delighted because we get cake at the end of training. <laughs> you know, have a word in the ear to kind of say, look, I, I kept you a couple of slices in your bag in, 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 a, in a changing room, you know. So she always thinks about everything. She always thinks about everybody. And I'd say she's been out on countless walks with people just to kind of be a, a shoulder or people to kind of lean on and kind of looking out for everybody. Mom would be a role model that we would kind of look up to and see how much can be done. And doing it as a volunteer, you know, for her genuine, I'd say, love and passion for the game is, is great to see and it kind of would inspire us or motivate us as well that you know things can be done on a volunteer basis. And she does so much behind the scenes uh, that keeps people content and I'm not just talking about players but uh, everybody that's involved in our setup she just looks out for them. She doesn't want any um, thanks for her job she just is happy to be a part and she's happy to be giving. Her genuine passion for the game, for um, ladies football and for the girls to be happy and content. Something as small as having a cup of tea ready for people when they come in off the training pitch or ready to go for management when they're heading into a management meeting or, you know, a famous banana bread that she'll bring to training. Because of Covid, uh, she still didn't want people missing out so she dropped a cake in cling film so that people could still blow out their, their candles and all. No, no mean feet now I suppose to be making sure that everyone's uh, minding their manners and, and uh, doing all the, the basics I suppose. It was hard I think for management as well at times not being able to have everybody available to travel to all the games and everything and she was still doing everything else down to an absolute tea and, and just preparing the team as best she could and being as helpful as she could. Callie, we're so proud of you tonight winning your award and we're just all so lucky to have you involved. Well done. I know you will <laughs> not be liking the limelight, but enjoy it. It's so, so well deserved and just from the Dumb Ladies, we appreciate everything you do for us. Congratulations, Mum. We're all extremely proud of you. Well done and I hope you enjoy your night. If everybody was to, to kind of say what they think when uh, Kathleen Grieve gets mentioned, it's uh, a smile comes to the face and it's kind of like, uh, Kathleen, you're a legend. It's huge uh, support, appreciation coming from the team and uh, thanks so much for everything you do. Congratulations, Mom. Really well deserved. Hope you have a great night and thanks for all that you do. After a lifetime of involvement in our games, a huge thank you uh, on behalf of myself personally, but on behalf of everybody who's ever soldiered in our outfit and we're truly lucky to have had you.